So first and foremost, what exactly is CJ dropshipping? So CJ is very similar to a dropshipping agent, which means that they'll be the ones to import the stock into their own warehouses. And whenever you wanna use them for your dropshipping needs, they'll be the ones to fulfill the orders for you. Now, a lot of people ask me, what's the main differences between AliExpress and CJ dropshipping? Now, the main difference in my own opinion is that AliExpress is a website with various different vendors or various different sellers, which means that there's not gonna be a high level of quality control, depending on which vendor you wanna use on AliExpress, whereas CJ dropshipping is one company and they'll be the ones to do everything from sourcing the product, importing the product, and then holding it in their warehouse. So with CJ Dropshipping, you're gonna get slightly better delivery times, and you're also gonna get slightly better quality as well. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is sign up to CJ Dropshipping. Now, the way that you do that is go to my description down below, and then you're gonna see a link in my description. It's gonna say sign up to CJ Dropshipping for free. So you can use that link, just click on it like that. And then what it's gonna do is that it's gonna take you to this page right here. You're gonna enter your email, you're gonna enter your password, and then just click on next. And then what it's gonna do is that it's gonna take you to this page right here. Now, the first thing that I wanna show you guys is exactly how to find a product or a winning product that you're gonna sell on your Shopify store. Now, the best way to do that if you're gonna be using CJ Dropshipping is to find a product on CJ. Now, they've got so many different products that you can choose from. So depending on where you wanna dropship from and dropship to, it all depends because they've got warehouses all around the world. So what you can do is that you can just click on view more and all of these products are currently trending on CJ Dropshipping, which means that CJ knows that a lot of dropshippers are able to make a lot of money from these products, which means that there's a high potential for you to also make money from them. Now, once you're on this page, you're gonna find a product that you're gonna be happy to sell. There's no point in just selling any product. It's best to look for a product that you know that you're gonna be able to market and sell to the best of your ability. And that's always a product that you have some sort of common knowledge in. So I'm just gonna scroll through and try to find a product that I know that I'll be happy to sell. All right, so there's this product here, which is a professional pet dog hair trimmer. So I'm just gonna click into it. So as we can see, CJ is gonna be able to ship it from their China warehouse. So that's the only option available for this product. And if I wanna ship it to the United States, I can see that they have an option option here that's going to take eight to five days which is not bad at all but if I wanted to drop ship it to the UK because I'm based in the UK I can select the United Kingdom right there and then if I click on the shipping method we can see that there's some shipping methods that's going to take 20 to 60 days which is obviously no good but there's other ones that's only going to take 7 to 14 days which is a lot better so I can work with either one of these shipping methods right here so if I select this one right here for now we can see that the total drop shipping cost is going to be between six dollars to fourteen dollars and the inventory that they have in their warehouse right now is over 11,000 units and the processing time is going to take one to three days so these are the key things that you need to look out for when it comes to you drop shipping a particular product we can see that they got more than enough stock in their warehouse and we can see that it's going to take only one to three days for them to process the order which is not bad at all so this product is definitely looking like a good product but before i even start building a store around this particular product the next thing that i do is look at other sellers to see if they're using google shopping ads to advertise this product because i like to use google shopping ads when it comes to me drop shipping on shopify okay so i've just jumped over to google and i've typed in dog trimmer as you can see right there and the first item that comes up in the results is the exact same one that we was looking at on CJ Dropshipping. So this company, which is called Portastic, is selling the exact same product for $39.99. So they're definitely making a lot of money from it. And the fact that they're using Google Shopping ads to market this product means that I'm also going to be able to use Google Shopping ads to market the product because there's no way that they would have paid for Google Shopping if they're not making money from it. So what I'm going to do is click into it to double check that it's definitely the exact same product that we're looking at on CJ. Okay, so here's the product right here. And it's definitely Definitely the exact same one that we was looking at on CJ. Let me just go back over to CJ. Yep, it's got that picture of that little dog and it's the exact same item. I think they're even using the exact same images as well from CJ. Let's go back over to the website. Yep, it's the exact same image that they're using and they're selling it for £39.99p. And if we look at how long it's going to take for the customer to receive it from this website, they're going to receive it by the 18th of November. However, today is the 25th of October, which means that they're most likely dropshipping it. So now that I know that this company is dropshipping, in this product from China, I know that I'll be able to also create a store around this product and use CJ Dropshipping to fulfill the orders to my customers. So once you've signed up to CJ Dropshipping, you found the product that you wanna sell, you've double checked to make sure that sellers are also selling that product on Google. If you do wanna use Google Shopping ads to promote the product, the next thing that you need to do is sign up to Shopify. So as you can see right now, I'm on the sign up page. And if you also wanna sign up for Shopify for a 14 day free trial, you can click the link down below. You're gonna see a link in my description, click that. It's going to take you to this page and the next thing that you need to do is just enter in your email address all right so once you've signed up to shopify this is the page that you're going to see but to connect your cj account to your shopify account you need to head back over to cj and you need to click on my cj at the top
up right here. And then once you do that, you need to come over to this side right here and you're going to see authorization. So you need to click on that and then you're going to see Shopify. So just click on that. All right. So once you've clicked on Shopify, you need to click on add store right there. And then you need to put the name of your store. So if you go back over to your Shopify account, you need to put the name that you selected when you signed up to Shopify that comes before the dot my Shopify. So my one is pets trimmer. So I'm just going to copy that and then head back over to CJ and then enter it right there and then click on authorize and then it's going to bring you here and then you need to click on install app okay there you go as you can see authorization success all right so now that you've connected your CJ account to your Shopify account the next thing that you need to do is actually import the products from CJ into the back end of your Shopify store so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now so first things first you need to go back over to your CJ homepage and then once you're here you need to look for the product that you're trying to import so in this case we are doing the dog trimmer that we looked at earlier so I'm going to try and find that right now all right perfect so the next thing that you need to do once you're on this page is scroll down to the bottom and then click on list and then from here you're going to be able to select all of the options that you need to select before you actually list it onto your Shopify store so as you can see it says ship from China warehouse so that's the only option for this product which is okay select store and then from here you're going to be able to select the product type the collection that you want it to go into on the back end of your Shopify store when it comes to organizing all of your products you're also going to be able to select the vendor as well on this page we're also able to enter the price that we want to sell it for when it comes to drop shipping it from our Shopify stores so I'm just going to select this option for now and I'm going to enter my price as you can see right there it says your price and I want to sell it for $39.99 so the total drop shipping cost is going to be $18.18 the next thing I do is that I double check the estimated delivery time so I make sure at this point that I'm selecting the right delivery option before I actually import it because I don't want to forget to change it later on so make sure that you double check where you're going to be shipping the orders to and the shipping method as well so for now I'm going to change it to the United Kingdom and I'm also going to change it to CJ packet sensitive because that's seven to 14 days. Oh, before I forget, you need to select a product type. So make sure that you select a product type. You also select the collections and the vendor because it's not going to let you go through. So product type, I just selected trimmer, collections, homepage for now and vendor. I'm just going to enter the name of my store, confirm and click on confirm for those two. And then I'm going to scroll down and click on list it now. All right. So as you can see, the product has been listed successfully and it's giving me the option to view it in my store. So I'm going to click on view it in store right now. As you guys can see, this is the product that's been listed in my store. It uploads it with all of the images so you can come in here and take away any images that you don't necessarily want. It also puts the title for the product and again, all of the images and all of the options that I selected. I actually selected all of the variants. When I was showing you the example, I only selected the first one, but I went back and selected these two right here but what you can do once it's in your store is that you can delete any variant that you don't want from this point by selecting it and then clicking on more options and then clicking on delete variants but I'm going to leave it for now because everything I'm showing you is just an example I'm going to go back and change everything and make everything perfect all right so once you finish signing up to CJ dropshipping and you've set up your Shopify store and you've connected the product from your CJ account onto your Shopify store and you've done everything that I've shown you in today's video the next thing that you need to do is design your Shopify website as in the page that the customers are going to see once they visit your store I'm not going to show you how to do that in today's video because I've already made a detailed video showing you how to do that that I'm going to link above so you can watch that video after you watch this video and then once you've done that the only thing that you need to do next is figure out how you're going to get the traffic to the website now there's so many different ways that you can do marketing to get customers to visit your store the way that I like to do my marketing is by using Google shopping ads and if you want to know my step-by-step -step guide when it comes to getting customers to visit my store you can check out the link in the pinned comment down below because I've created a step-by-step -step guide that shows you exactly what you need to know when it comes to getting your Google ad account approved and also everything you need to know about setting up your first Google shopping ad campaign step by step so make sure you check that out in the pinned comment down below but if you found any value in this video or if you enjoyed it or if you found it entertaining don't forget to press the like button it really helps out the channel don't forget to subscribe as well for more content when it comes to making money on Shopify and don't forget to comment down below let me know what you thought of the video I love to hear from you all right guys I'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace